of the heaven and the freedom for the Lord. Amen. The name of the Christ. Hello. And we Amen. officially welcome you guys to this national press briefing that will be done by the most powerful men in the Republic of Liberia, the President of the Economic Freedom Quetta, the Commander-in-Chief, and this is how we'd like to welcome you to this official press briefing, as it is a national issue, it is a serial press briefing, and so the message should go across. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the media, once again, we are grateful to have you. As usual, we are committed to fighting for democracy. And we will do nothing to circumvent democracy. But rather, we will continue to fight for our people. We want to be unequivocal that the economic freedom fighters of Liberia will not be intimidated we know for the government of Liberia, like we said before, democracy is the bedrock of our society. And those who believe that they can undermine democracy, we want to assure them that we will continuously resist them and we will confront them. For us, we believe where we are today, people lost their life to get us to enjoy multi-party democracy. We believe people lost their life in order for us to have freedom of the press. So therefore, no tyrannical regime will survive the fight against democracy. Anyone who believes they have the popular will of the people and want to suppress democracy, and want to suppress the will of the people, they can be guaranteed that we will resist them and we will not succumb to any undue pressure for any government. Not even just we are government and not any government in the future. We want to say this. Across the country, the EFFL men that are deployed across the country have been well received by the citizens. In far in the southeast, there are countless revelations on how ballots were being stored part in the southeast and how CDC got the numbers in the southeast. The people that are confiding in our members, the people were using traditional practices to subject people to allowing CDC and the National Elections Commission operate in the southeast. Therefore, allowing CDC to have the numbers they got in the Soviet yeah. People are confounding in the EFFL because they trust our judgment. They trust our ability. They know that we will continue to stand by them and for them. Today, we received an intel from the very government architecture that there were pre map ballots headed for LOFA and this night, some will be headed for the Soviets in the flight that was chartered by the president of Liberia. Those spring my ballots went through the James Springfield without being checked by the uh, joint security at the airport. Now we have always said the joint security is compromised. The security sector of the country has become a partisan force. The normal airport procedures, the bypass the normal airport procedures and allowed the ballot buses to cross and go through. And they planted them in different uh, rooms at the airport for departure tonight for the Southeast. Because of the intel we received, we decided as citizens of the Republic, forget about our status as economic freedom fighters of Liberia. We are citizens first before we became members of a political party. We decided 
sent the National Security Operator of the Ministry of Justice and everyone attached with security that should be doing their responsibility has neglected their constitutional re uh, responsibility to side with the CDC. We thought, citizen, with the interest we have in protecting our democracy and peace, to go after the flight. So we have the detail of where the flights were scheduled to land across the country. We have the detail, we received the detail. And because we received the detail, we felt it was important for us to deploy ahead of time to where the flights were intended to land. So in FOIA, the flight landed and our guy moved in. And the flight went with buses in FOIA. And they were being resisted. But the guy decided that conserving their training and their desire to maintain the peace of Liberia and protect the sanity of our democracy, they decided to do everything him on the possible as citizen to collect the bus. So they collected a few people that came on the flight, they turned it over to the police, including the buses on the flight. They turned everything to the police. The EFF did not commit any crime in Lofa, and they have not committed any crime across the country. But already, the President of the Republic of Liberia has instructed the police to arrest the EFF people that cross the country wherever they are. We want to say to George Weir that your days are normal. Tomorrow you will be expelled from the Liberian presidency. The people of Liberia will vote against you. We do not need a tyrant here. We need a government that will respect rule of law. We need a government that will respect freedom of the press. We need a government that will stop corruption. Tomorrow, because you don't believe in this value, you will be expelled from the presidency. You will never be a president here. So George Weah has instructed his police director to arrest the EFL people across the country because they said they are confiding in us and giving us intel. This morning, in Wakostown, in Green Basel County, pre-map ballot paper they arrived. Because they heard that the EFL people were going to Wakostown, they disappeared from there. By 4 a.m. this morning, they was in Wakostown, in Grand Basel County. So we are chasing them everywhere. And we are following them everywhere. And we will do our best to protect the democracy of our country. Regardless of who is offended, we don't care about who is offended. We will never be intimidated by the CDC. We will never be intimidated by the Joint Security. They have neglected their responsibility and we will step in as citizens. Now they are tear gassing the EFF compound in FOIA. They tear gassing our members in FOIA because they want to destroy evidence. But we don't care about what they are doing. They will not deter us today and they will not deter us tomorrow. We will continue with our deployment anywhere we receive intel that people are taking my ballot paper, we will go dead. If you want to kill us because we believe in democracy, come and kill us. But we will not run away from the government. We are not scared of them. We will face them. The president has lost legitimacy and because of this, he's doing everything to suppress the media. Listen to the, the justice minister. When he was questioning media institutions not to come up with a uh, pre-announcement, of the election result. All around the world, the media are given opportunity to announce election results, even in the United States. You find CNN doing it. You find SNBC doing it. You find all the media institutions around the world doing it. And you say nobody should, to, should, should come up with election results. We will come up with election results. In fact, once we EFFL receive the info, we will announce the election results. We don't care about what it will do. We don't care about them. We are not afraid of them. I want to say to you, fellow citizen, turn out tomorrow to expel George Weir. He has lost a legitimacy. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, uh, yes. Three questions. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, thank you very much. I'm Sylvester Chiroplin of Work for School Network. Uh, Mr. Kongo, you are alleging that our three uh, marked ballot papers went in Lofa and Bassa counties. 
Is there any evidence that you can maybe present to this for us uh, to convince the public that yes, indeed, uh, free ballot papers were were been sent or uh, have been sent uh, to, to to those countries? We are receiving all the intel from the citizens, and we are going after that. We will release. We have already released the the footage and video of the headquarters that went to FOIA. We already released it to the media. There are people in the media that already have the videos and footage of the headquarters that went to FOIA. Our guys arrested everybody and turned them to the police. The police has this information. They should follow release the information. It is their responsibility. But because they are compromised and they want to sub I mean to, to, to subject the evidence, you know, to their own will, they are using tear gas on the compounds of the EFF in FOIA. They are tear gas on our people who committed no crime. Yes, uh uh, Chief, my name is Achi Buan and I report for Today Labor Television. Um, where is the ballot boxes right now? The police in FOIA will answer that question. They have all the information we sent to them. They have it. They are including the people on the flight. They have them. Because there are, there are information that Corine, uh, on the France Humane has the ballot boxes. And Some of the buses from the flights, uh, we presented them to Honorable Humane. Some of the buses on the flight, we presented them to Honorable Humane in FOIA. But we're saying, because the police came in to destroy evidence, they allowed the flight to leave. So we were not able to collect all the buses on the, on the flight. Have you been able to engage the National Elections Commission on that? The Elections have Commission been has been selling on some of these things that is happening. They have not spoken in you know, the elections, so we don't want to communicate with them. We are saying whatever we did in four years today, we communicated with the police and they have the information. Yeah, Mr. Obunkwe, I'm Kupo Sanga and I report for Truth FM. In one of your press conferences, you say you don't trust the police as such because they are partisan police according to you. On what ground that you turn those big mad bad people according to you to them? Do you have trust in them? We, no? we are citizens. We don't trust them. However, it's all about like going to the Supreme Court. Do you think we trust the Supreme Court? No. But we are on a moral and constitutional responsibility to go to the Supreme Court, but we don't trust the Supreme Court. We don't trust them, but we give them the information because it is their responsibility to go beyond what we have done. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you folks. Um, this is today's yeah, 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 yeah,